Now, six years ago, we lost former president, Professor John Evans Fifi Atamals. Christened the Asumdre Hene due to his amicable nature, Professor Mills was the first sitting president to have died. He died on Tuesday, July 24, 2012, a few months before the 2012 general elections. The late president was a native of Ekumfi Utwam in the central region. The Atamils Presidential Library was built in his memory in Cape Coast, uh, my colleague Richard Kojunyako has been to the area and the facility and joins us via phone with some updates. Hello, Richard. Hi, Benny. Six years on after his demise, what is happening in his hometown? Well, it looks as if that people have almost forgotten um, the late prof. This morning I visited uh, where he usually... He usually comes when he, he was in Cape Coast at Nkamfwa, and there was nothing there. Um, the door was opened, because that's the, the same place that the sister also lives. And there was only one car that was parked there, so there was no sign that anything was happening there. So I came to town, I interacted with a few folks in Cape Coast about whether they, they still remember that today was even the day that he died. Um, it was divided. Others, yeah, they, 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 they started sharing um, some pictures of his on social media and other things. You find uh, those um, sections talking about um, mm -hmm. the death of um, the late prof. Others who can't be bothered. They, most of them do not even know that today was the day that the late mm -hmm. professor Evans Atanos died. So it's just a, a cocktail of feelings uh, from the residents here. Mm. Richard, uh, we know that a library was built in his memory in, in Cape Coast. And uh, for some time now, there have been reports that it hasn't opened. What did you see when you visited the place today? Well, there are a lot of placards that have been dotted around this presidential library. It is um, uh, situated directly opposite the Cape Coast Castle and adjacent uh, the Anglican Church, the first Anglican Church to be built. Um, in the central region, um, I just, but what you find, the inscriptions you find on the placard was, uh, some of them read, uh, did the man, did Professor Atanos die in vain? Did he serve the nation in vain? What is happening to the library? Open the library uh, for some intellectual uh, discourse and for intellectual participation of uh, the resident here. And among others, people are asking whether the library has been uh, some kind of an honor rather than a disgrace because they see the library now as a white elephant. There is no sign of activity. This morning when I visited, mm. uh, it, was, it was only one security uh, guard from the University of Cape because that is stationed at the security post that I saw. Apart from that, there is absolutely no sign. And then you find uh, the placards, I counted up to about 20, and they've been dotted around that thing. You remember that there have been a series of press conferences that have been organized by the Ugaman youth. And these people said that if there was anything, uh, there was going to be anything this day, they were going to disrupt it. But mm. they have waited, and nothing like that Has is happened. going on. And uh, on the third year, there's going to be a lecture, and that lecture will be delivered by a professor uh, at the University of Cape Coast with the Oman Hine of Ugwa traditional area, Osabe Makwesiata, as a guest of honor. So, I mean, this is the only sign of activity mm. uh, to commemorate the sixth anniversary that I am aware of. Uh, the lecture you talk about, is it in his honor? Yes, it is in his, in, in, it is in, in his honor, and it alternates between Gimpa and the University of Cape Coast. Last year, it was organized by the Gimpa, and then uh, this year, uh, it, it's going to be organized by the University of Cape Coast. And that, that is where Professor Kosibuchi, uh, the former finance minister, is going to address um, that gathering. Finally, Richard, have you been able to speak to those who placed uh, the placards in town? Yes, I, I've been speaking with them. And um, what they tell me is that they want the library to be open because they see the library now as a disgrace, something that they used in shaming um, the former president and not really an honor as they say. They want the anniversary committee, the, the people that planned 
the building of the library and they mentioned the name of um, uh, Kofi Tutobi Kwachi, who is the chair, to come out to tell the general public what is happening to the library because mm. they know that it was funded by the telcos. And so if it was funded by the telcos, why is it that the library is still not open? Because the contractor still has the key to the library. They have issues with certificate because the contractor has not been paid. So they want, and the University of Cape Coast, that is supposed to uh, manage the facility. They are also raising a, a number of issues, electricity usage and the other. So they want all of these issues to be addressed so that the library would be open for the research and for the intended purpose, the, the, the year mark mm. the library to be used for. Thank you very much, Richard Kodonyako, our Central Region Correspondent. Uh, rather unfortunate that as we commemorate six years uh, after the demise of our late president, a facility built in his honor still remains shut.